TIAA Bank Field in Jacksonville. And tonight we've got an AFC matchup in store for you as it'll be the Cleveland Browns taking on the Jacksonville Jaguars. Now the kicker, Brandon McManus, about ready to get us started. And off we go from Jacksonville. And the opening kickoff will not be returned as that will be a touchback. start on the ground with Nick Chubb and he'll manage to pick up about four at second down well on every play call you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown so a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game trying to establish the inside run run with toughness now hopefully get to the perimeter later and let's face it you could do worse than a four yard run on first down second and six just inside the 30. Now Watson, flush to his right. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. Deshaun Watson, so multidimensional, able to scramble for the first. And that's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish it as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they avoided giving up a huge play in one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They give the chub out of the gun. And strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. They'll try the air now with Watson. Got an open man. That's David Njoku, the tight end. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. On first down, they'll run with Chubb. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Cleveland. Nick Chubb taking it in from 24 yards out. And the Browns put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. Hopkins with the extra point, and that makes the score 7 0. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. And they'll be set up pretty nicely here as they have it up to the 35-yard line. Lawrence bringing the Jaguars up first and 10 at their 35-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Finds his tight end, Ingram. Only able to gain a couple there, and that's going to bring up second down. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. Second down, a run with ETN. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. It goes as a loss of six. And now third down. And not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. Keep going, 
Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that will be incomplete. That was the first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. On fourth down, on is Logan Cook to punt. Jakeem Grant deep for Cleveland. This is taken at the 18. Call it a 48-yard punt. Give them nine, though, on the return. And the Browns will take over first and 10. The Browns drive about to get started. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7 0 lead. Of course they would. And look, they're on the road. So getting the 7 0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. To throw is Watson. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you had. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target. But he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Watson now to throw. settling in now and letting it be known that points won't come so easy again. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt, and the Jaguars go on offense first down and 10. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive, and a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series of Jones goes diving, and he's got it. Now he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Hey, did you have one of those backyards that you had one of those, like, mats or pits like you have for high jumpers? And, you know, you had your friends throw the ball and you tried to make the spectacular catches? I didn't need a mat. <laughs> you, you just did it with the ground? Absolutely. That explains your Concrete. toughness. That <laughs> explains your toughness right there because I think that guy was raised just like you. What a catch. Now Lawrence on first down. That's going to be caught by Bigsby. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. So the completion results there in nine yards. And they'll have a second and one forthcoming. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space. It turned out to be a nice play for the offense. And ETN going to have a Jags first down as he takes it down to the 20-yard line. But they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. On first and 10, it's ETN. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. And the linebacker, Jeremiah Wusu Koromoa, on the tackle. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Second down, here's Lawrence. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. And who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. Now, this will probably be the last play of the quarter. Go, go, go. 
They'll send Kirk in motion right. On third down, Lawrence for the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Oh, they were so close. That close to their first points of the game. Just needed to hang on just a second longer, but he couldn't complete the process of the catch through the jostling from the defender. The kick by McManus is good. And that will do it for the first quarter of play. After 1-7-3, the score on EA Sports. Second quarter now from Jacksonville, and it's the Jags with the football. As they've got it as we resume action. Now McManus on to kick this one off. And yeah, this will be a touchback as Grant opts not to return it. The Cleveland offense ready to go. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they're going to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again, second and 10 from the 25. So the false start will back them up five. Jedrick Wills, former first-round pick, guilty there. So after the penalty, heading in the wrong direction, second and 15. Watson, off play action. Rolling to his right. And they'll bring him down here up at about the 22-yard line. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble, and now it's third down. They made a nice effort to stick him with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. Third and long, it's Watson. Looking for Cooper, and it's intercepted. Rayshon Jenkins picks it off, and he brings it back to right around the 26-yard line. And I think this is a situation where a quarterback coach in the sideline is going to talk to a signal caller and say, listen, it's third and long, and it's still early in the game. Let's not force things here. If we don't feel good about it, let's just check something down and pump the football. And they'll throw on first down with Lawrence. That's going to be caught by Kirk. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it'll be second down. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. In motion right is Ridley. On second down, Lawrence. And that is caught. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Evan Ingram from 21 yards away. And the Jaguars have taken the lead. Their first passing touchdown of the ball game, and they go to the big tight end in those sure hands, and he provides the score. Certainly looked like they were focused on taking away other weapons, and he certainly made them regret that because he found the soft spot and yet taking it to the end zone. Nice throw to the After the 
touchdown. Here's McManus now to kick it away. Grant, he will not return it, and his guys will begin at the 25. The Browns drive about to get started. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive, in particular if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes to get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal is not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe just splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. They run it again with Chubb. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Second and seven. From the 50, it's Watson. Going out wide, finds Chubb. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Watson changing the play. Up the middle, it's Chubb. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because really they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. Second and ten. Back to throw, Watson. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. And the Jags are going to have the football here at their own 35-yard line. So rare to see any quarterback toss back-to-back -to -back interceptions in the NFL, regardless of status or experience. Whether it's in person or just the offensive game plan, I think this defense is reading something out there, and they're holding the upper hand. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Look at repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Throwing now, Lawrence on first down. That's caught on the left side by Kirk. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 11 yards there for Jacksonville and a first down as well. They sure put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Lawrence will throw. He'll get this out to the flat for ETN. Defensively, a solid response after giving up back-to-back -back first downs. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Now Lawrence to throw on second down. A hit as 
he throws there incomplete. I think he had to move that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. Got to get to the 26 for a first. This is third down. Throwing again here. It's Lawrence. He's going to let this go for the end zone. Got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Jaguars. Calvin Ridley. 34 yards. And the Jaguars will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. And that's certainly an important score right there because they gave themselves a two-score cushion heading towards halftime. Now you got to force the other team out of their comfort zone, and it changes the way you approach the second half as well. How you want to do things on offense, and your defense feels much better too, having that lead. This is play after his goal, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And here's Jakeem Grant from his end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. The Cleveland offense ready to go. Well, not much time remains here in this first half. We'll see if they can get something out of this drive, at least a field goal. They could certainly use it down by two scores. On well, first down, Chubb able to get forward for about four as he's taken down. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. From the 25, here's second and six. They'll try the draw now with Chubb. And he'll just keep two hands on the football as he'll be taken down after a short pickup. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. Third and two. Here's Watson, eluding the pressure right. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but the see it's out to play. What on third down so far in this first half? Relatively small sample size, but they're now 0 for 3. And the average in the league, somewhere around 40% on third down for offenses. So what's the answer to this? Either convert them, or don't get the third down in the first place. Get your big chunks of yards on first and second down. On fourth down, on is Corey Bohork has to punt. Five yards that time on the punt, and they will take over first and ten. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. Here's second and ten. Seconds now. 
Well, they approach this drive with a lot of confidence after their last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Here's Lawrence to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man to play. The Jaguars going to go ahead and use their first timeout as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. Well, things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. Pick a down, any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connection there and pick up a fresh set of downs, continuing to move the ball. On first down, Lawrence. Thrown across his body, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jeremiah owusu koromoa And the Browns are going to take possession as they've got it at the 42-yard line. Well, he's certainly not been afraid to take some chances downfield. Now, look, it's paid off for him a couple of times. That time, not so fortunate. And that's where I want to start, what you said. It's paid off a couple of times. So his aggressiveness... It's been good for his offense for the most part. So he throws an interception there. No one. And he's going to go down. Couldn't get a throw off for the pressure. Maybe that was for the best. As that brings us to the end of this first half of play. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon set and ready to rock for the third quarter. A 10-point game, 17-7 to score as we get back to it on EA Sports. And no return here for Agnew, so they'll bring it out, start the drive at the 25. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half, they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it. But I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities. And I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. Straight ahead, ETN. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A 14-yard first down pickup for the Jaguars. They've got the lead early here in the third quarter, and runs like that are how they established that lead in the first half. I love the fact that you're using the word lead because they are leading from the front, pounding on the defense right now with the running game, and truly establishing themselves here in the second half. First down, right back to ETN. We'll get this up to about the 44. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. They go play action with Lawrence. Buying time to his left. And he will go down outside of the pocket for a 
sack. Tried to get away, but could not. Miles Garrett credit him with a sack, and it goes as a loss of six. So now after the sack of Lawrence, the Jags looking at a third and long. Back to throw here. Under pressure, and they got to him again. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. Here's Logan Cook now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. Returnable for Grant. 54-yard punt, 14 on the return, nets him 40. And that will come the offense as they take over. The Browns drive about to get started. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense them saying, okay, the first half was theirs, but now let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced a punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for this second half. Now Watson. Jaguar pressure on a Jaguar sack. Trayvon Walker able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. So one quick easy analysis about why they struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than it normally is. <laughs> Not a lot of positive grades will be handed out. And now Watson throws another interception. Rayshon Jenkins picks it off. And the Jaguars are in great shape here as they take over at their 46-yard line. I tell you, Brandon, it seems like this guy's been all over the field so far. That's his second interception of the game. And so much of playing defense in the NFL, especially when it comes to defending the pass, is all about positioning and technique. And this is fantastic work on both fronts there. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. Now ETN to start the drive. And no room that time, getting it to about the 46. Tackle made that time by Dalvin Tomlinson. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. They work now on second and nine. Now Lawrence to throw. Completes it to Evan Ingram. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. A gain there of 21 yards. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode Really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. A little bit of space there for the first down run as that's going to get him about five yards. Now a timeout called for by the defense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. From the 28, it's second and five. Here's Lawrence. And he fires one incomplete. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out.
They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Now Lawrence going to move him around a bit. They'll set up a throw. And he will find Ridley. That's complete. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And Brandon, from our time in college football, the receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree. One thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. Looking to throw Lawrence. He'll buy some time right. And he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. Trouble Lawrence. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Jaguars will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. That's a really good decision right there outside of the pocket. You've got to know the right time to shift from passer to runner. He was looking and looking. Nothing there. You can almost feel the brainwaves firing as he calculates. I think I can win a race to the pylon. And he turns out to be right. Touchdown. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. Oh, the return from his end zone is Grant. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Browns take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. The Cleveland offense ready to go. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Back now in Jacksonville. It's the Browns with a deficit. They're trailing, but with the football here to start the fourth. Here's a second and five. And Trouble tried the middle here. He takes this for three to the 29. And quickly, they get to the line. They'll run for it. Here's Chubb. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. They'll try the air now with Watson. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. Throwing again is Watson. He'll get this to Chubb out of the backfield. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Well, they try to swing it on left into the flat, complete, but really nice open field tackling. And they played that one like a great boxer. They were on their toes on that one. They weren't back on their heels reacting to the play. No, they saw it, came right for it, and made a nice tackle for lost yardage. The offense on third down tonight, just one for five to this point. This is third and 11. Now they return to the ground game, Chubb. And he'll be brought down at the first down the first down marker. Call it a one-yard gain of the play, and that's going to make it fourth down. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Desperation time. Watson on fourth down. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's going to pick up the Browns' first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. From the gun, it's a give to Chubb. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. After the loss, they'll come up second and 13.
Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. That's going to leave them with just one remaining here in this fourth quarter. Behind the chain, second and 13. Watson. That's out to Chubb, complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 33. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Escaping the pressure right. Give him a couple on the scramble at second down. To throw is Watson. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked up by Phyllis Sade to Mulligan. And the Jags are going to take over once again at their own 25-yard line. If they had designs of kind of wiggling their way back into this one, that hurts their chances right there. They had to put it mildly. We look at the lead, look at the deficit, trying to make a play downfield. Everyone seeking to be somewhat the hero. Didn't turn out that way at all, and you're exactly right. It's going to take a lot for them to have a chance to win this one now. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up at the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Jaguar football here as we welcome you back. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. On second down, ETN once more. And this Browns defense coming to life. They get him behind the line for a second straight play. That'll wind up as a loss on the play, so now they're staring at a third down and 12. Now that's a nice play. <laughs> Got me fired up, partner. But can they do it back-to-back -back plays? All the training that you go through as a defense for these situations, when you have to get the ball back, everything you go through, holding up the runner, raking at the football, getting to the passer, knocking it out of his hands, whatever way, they have to get the ball back. Now can they stand tall again for a huge fourth quarter stop? Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. The Cook now on to punt as he gets this one away. Here comes Grant on the return. It'll wind up being a net of 41. Nine-yard return, 50 on the punt. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. The Browns drive about to get started. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally... I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. He's got his target. That's complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Off of play action, it's Watson. 
And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. I'll tell you what, partner, after he ices down, he's going to be a nice long soak in a hot tub after this one. He's been under duress the entire game. And once again, hit as he throws. Fortunate that one wound up incomplete. Now a second and ten. To the air yet again, Watson. This will be caught downfield by Moore. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 17-yard line. They go up the middle with Chubb. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. And a timeout coming in. This will be their final one with 10 seconds remaining. So after a run like that, I will guarantee that the head coach is saying to himself, maybe even over his headsets to the rest of the staff, what was that all game long? <laughs> we needed that. That's the type of run we planned for going into the game. Didn't get much of that, but let's move it forward. Let's build on it, get ready for the next week, and let's go play. Now it's Watson. And that is incomplete. Seven seconds remaining. Another throw there off the mark, and obviously he's battled all of the interceptions. Things just haven't been true to form for him. I don't know. What do you think's going on out there, CD? That's a great question, and my suspicion is he's been coached really well to not show that he's having a problem. You know, they always tell you no matter what, you keep throwing the football with confidence. Well, we're not seeing a confident thrower right now. He's off balance. The passing game's off balance. Touchdown! Nick Chubb, he scored on the ground and through the air. And the Browns have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Well, he is putting in a great all-around game, Charles. He already ran one in for a score, and now they utilize him in the passing game. And they put a lot of pressure on a defensive coordinator and defense, don't they? Because they're used to him as a runner, but it turns out he's just as deep. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. And this fake extra point attempt failed big time. Not only did they not get it, they went backwards. Uh, let me go ahead and show my age a little bit. I liked it when they would fake it from the three-yard line, right? When he'd line up, go ahead, and, oh, there's a fake, and uh, he's going to get two. That's great. But from the 15, the risk-reward, it's just not there. That's so risky to get 15 yards on a fake. Well, you see the result right there. Yeah, I know these young whippersnappers are trying to do different things in this game, but let's go back to the line, but kick the ball through the post. Get off my last time. So that last kickoff, just a mere formality, obviously, Charles, and wrapping up a game that they should be very happy about in which they got the win. Yeah, I thought they were clearly the better team by the end, and they earned this one with a terrific game plan and consistent effort throughout. Only fitting that they had the ball when the clock hit zero. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gunn. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Jaguars are winners here as we say so long from Jacksonville.